Kelly family. You're a great fan. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Angel, for watching Super Kelly Listic. I have a really fun live plan today, you guys. I am at the Westfield and Palm Desert, and right now I'm actually standing in front of the H&M display. This is a seasonal line that they did for kids. It's a Harry Potter collaboration at H&M. It just hit the store last week on Thursday. So let's see uh, what's still in the store. Maybe it looks like some new things have come in. If you guys saw the short that I posted yesterday, kind of like a teaser for today's live, um, that was shot on Thursday, the day this, I just got lucky. I happened to be here at Westfield Palm Desert. And um, yeah, this is the window display. It's really exciting. You guys, they also have a collaboration right now with Netflix's Sex Education. If you guys are fans of the show, you're gonna really wanna see this new line. That's also brand, brand new. It's my first time seeing it today. So this is really exciting. I can't wait to just walk through H&M with you guys live and just do like a little merch search, see what we can find. And yeah, so, for, so I'm gonna just go ahead and reverse the camera. I'm gonna um, go through this um, Hogwarts Harry Potter theme display for you, for all the Harry Potter fans out there. And then we'll walk into the store together and just um, have fun chatting and shopping together today. I'm just swinging you guys around here. There we go. So while we wait for people to come and join us, I'll go ahead and show you this window display. Up here it says Harry, I think it maybe said Harry Potter, but they're doing some work on the display. It's actually changed since I was last here. So this must be new, this um, train motif in the background, like you're at Hogwarts and the train is pulling up to the station. Um, if you guys um, don't forget, if you enjoy this type of live, like shopping live, uh, give this video a thumbs up for me. I really appreciate the support. Thank you to Angel who popped in. Um, if I don't see all the comments, it's because I am on my cell phone. So I will go into um, the comments from time to time. So that first comment came up at about 11, 12 from Angel Joy. Um, thank you again for popping in. I really appreciate it. And um, again, I will try to get to all the comments, but if I don't just know it's because I am on my cell phone and I, I just didn't see it. So I'm, I'll do my best to read all the comments, you guys. That's what makes these lives so fun is we're not just doing a merch search. We're actually chatting in real time on Tuesday, September, no, sorry, August 31st, the last day of the month. September should be a lot of fun for everybody that subscribed to me for all my theme park content. I do wanna bring a lot of theme park content during the holiday season, so look out for that. This Thursday, I will be doing um, a gluten-free grocery haul is my plan. So for everybody, subscribe for the gluten-free content. I do have a new gluten-free grocery haul coming in the pipeline this Thursday. Um, I didn't forget about you guys. I do like to do um, type one diabetes and celiac awareness and gluten-free content about once a month is my goal. So um, for all of you that um, subscribe to me for the gluten-free content, just know I haven't forgotten about you. It's coming this Thursday. So let's take a look at this um, and hopefully people find me. So this is a kid's hoodie here. It says Hogwarts and it represents in a gold emblem all the different houses. And then it looks like there's a graphic T that says Harry Potter with the character print, character's picture printed on the front. And then this, um, this really thick uh, flannel jacket is beautiful. If you guys see that, I want that in an adult size. In fact, these uh, bigger kids sizes were not here last week. So these must be brand new. They, they, they only had the little, the little, little sizes last week. So there is some new stuff. So I'm really excited to go in there and explore this with you guys. And I, I'm actually small enough where I could get a, like a large girl's size of this. That's very tempting because that will be perfect during the winter months. 
And then they do have the Hogwarts, again here, graphic tee with the emblems for all the different houses. And then this is really cute. It's a long sleeve kids t-shirt that says Hedwig for Harry Potter's owl. How sweet is that? Here's another um, graphic uh, pullover sweatshirt. It's got, I don't know if you guys can see, it has a neat little white stripe down the sleeve. And again, it says Hogwarts with all of the um, houses represented here. And then here it looks like for the bigger boys, the bigger kids, boys and girls, is um, a Hogwarts, uh, wow, this is a beautiful hoodie. Look at it, it's got embroidered, um, down. hi mom, thanks for stopping in. It's got this beautiful Hogwarts embroidery in a stripe down the side here. And then it also has this really um, high quality, it looks very high quality, a patch there, a Hogwarts patch. So let's go inside. There's at least a couple of you here now. Look at this little purse, it's so cute. It's pink with a little pom-pom and it says Hogwarts. This is a really cute line for kids. So the two lines I'm gonna focus on today, you guys, is going to be this um, Hogwarts line, the Harry Potter line here at H&M, and also the Sex Education. It's a show on Netflix and they've done a collaboration with H&M, which I just think is so cool. Imagine you guys, if back in the day, stores like this did collaborations with something like Clueless or something, I would have died. In fact, a lot of the stuff I'm seeing is very similar to what you would have seen in the 90s, those styles from movies like Clueless. So I am just like really looking at this stuff and I'm like, oh my gosh, as a mom, can I pull this off? Because all of this stuff is so cute and it's very nostalgic for me because it is um, very 90s and um, styles that I really enjoyed when I was young. So, but right here in the center, so a lot of times when they do these seasonal collaborations, the last one I showed you guys, it was black pink. If you remember, I did post a short of that. Hi mom, she's like, yes, yes, my mom remembers. So this is it, this is the um, Netflix sex education and H&M collaboration and you guys, um, just like the Harry Potter, these collaborations are very seasonal and themed for back to school. So um, if you love this show, you're going to want to check out this line because they have the different uh, mascots and um, attire from the show. So I am not very familiar with this show. I know of it, but I do think this is such a great idea. And speaking of Clueless, you guys look at this dress. I am just dying for these little mini skirt dresses with the spaghetti type straps. I so want to just like relive my childhood and put a fitted tee under that, like a cropped white fitted tee. Oh man, you guys, I don't know. But they have all of this attire and it is inspired by the attire from the show. So for anyone that is a fan of the show, I will tag it in the playback and I will put timestamps in this video so you guys can go right to the section in H&M that you are interested in. So I'm assuming these are different characters from the show. It's, um, this is like a little um, reusable bag here, like a grocery bag style. And then they have these, you know, back to school themed kind of collegiate attire that's also inspired uh, by the show. So that's really cool. Here you have the burgundy um, dolphins and then behind it, you have the navy hawks. So I'm just gonna, one more time, I'm gonna back up here. I'm gonna show you um, the display. Actually, that's the hat I'm wearing. I'm wearing my bucket hat right now because honestly, it's the only thing I have from H&M currently because I don't know, I'm a busy mom that also is mostly spending money on her kids back to school attire. And I was in here with Raleigh back to school shopping before I knew that they needed uniforms. And she picked out that hat for me and I love it. So thank you, Raleigh. She's my little fashionista. She's my fashion consultant. For those of you that don't know, Raleigh is my um, six year old daughter. She just turned six, you guys. So here's what I was saying, the Navy Hawks attire, loving this plaid skirt. I actually just bought a skirt, a pleated plaid skirt, just like this at Target. Um, my husband, Jesse, he's always laughing at me, but isn't it, yes, I know mom, isn't it so adorable? 
I am so excited about these styles that are back right now. And then here in adult size, you have this like oversized flannel jacket and it, I love it. I'm just so loving all this. I mean, I would have died to have this in the 90s. I feel like we had to raid our parents' closets. You remember, mom, I would raid dad's closet to get all of his old flannels from the 70s and style them. My mom was so confused when I would do that. She's like, why are you wearing clothes that are too big for you? But remember in the 90s, grunge was like a really big thing. So a lot of this flannel and this oversized you know, flannel um, button down shirts and jackets are inspired from the 90s grunge era. So, and then here's this. There's also the Minnesota Chipmunks. I'm assuming this is also from the show, Sex Education. So that's super cute. And I'm loving this like cropped. We used to just cut our sleeves, but it's already cropped on the sleeves and at the mid midriff. So that's super cute. And I just want to look at these acid wash, wash jeans here too. They've got the holes in the knees all torn up. And it looks like they're high-waisted, kind of like a boyfriend, boyfriend, like mom jean type of style. I'm gonna look at this too. I hope people find this. I know that I don't typically do um, clothing hauls in H&M, but now that I live out here in the desert, ooh, that's cute, cropped with just the big wide like collegiate stripes and white and hunter green. Now that I'm out here in the desert, I um, discovered this H&M here at the Palm Desert uh, Westfield. And it is, I just love this store. Nikki actually went into an H&M up in Sacramento. I think either Sacramento or San, San Jose um, this week. And she's like, oh my gosh, the stuff they have is so cute. So I'm sorry, you guys, this is dangerous. So here's another oversized flannel jacket if you're looking for something like that. And all of this, I mean, it's like fully stocked right now. So if you're really interested in this merchandise, you wanna go ahead and hit your H&M like soon. Less punching, more talking. Now I wanna see the show. I do like this too. I saw a lot of this with the black pink with the, um, this is also very 90s, these like sleeveless sweaters. Um, the sweater vest. Oh my gosh, it's all coming back. Also 80s. You saw that in the late 80s too. Of course, back then we would coordinate it and it would like match your scrunchie and your socks, which is how we did it. But now people are a little more savvy. I can't read that from my vantage point. I'm one-handed, but it, this is just like a really big oversized um, Sweater, almost like you could almost wear it as a dress if you're really petite and then they do have this um, it's like a, var a big varsity jacket is really heavy weight you could like put patches and pins on it if you're into that it's it's very neutral so even though it's inspired by this collaboration um, you could really style it however you want and um, you know so if you're looking for that type of varsity jacket style it's a blank slate. It's really cool. I wonder how much that is for anyone curious. Let's see. Here's a tag popping out. That one will run you. So this one is $50. I always go to H&M. Like if I'm traveling, um, sometimes we travel to New York because Jesse will sometimes have work. Well, at least once upon a time, he had work in New York from time to time. And being from California, we needed jackets. Um, and of course we don't really wear jackets here the way they do there in the winter. So I would always go to H&M cause they have really affordable, like pretty good, um, you know, sturdy jackets for affordable prices. And honestly they last. So I still have some of my H&M coats from a while back and I, I still love them. They're still really gorgeous coats, especially for the price. Okay, so I'm gonna take you guys over to this Harry Potter section. It's in the kids section here. And let's see what they have. Cause again, I was here on Thursday and it had just been put out and I was curious what would still be here. So they still have the robes. They have two of the robes. And it was interesting when they first put the robes on the floor, they destroy their display. As they first put the robes on the floor, I was curious that they only put one of each size so there it is um if you saw my short it's 25 dollars, and there is 
a little wand that comes with it, which is pretty cool. You know, Halloween is right. So I'm going to put you guys down for just a sec. Sorry. As I hang this back up, I don't want to leave a mess. I'll put that back here. Okay. So Halloween is just around the corner. And I think parents are probably already thinking, you know, where am I going to get my Halloween costumes? I better get them before they sell out. So they only have two of these robes currently. I don't know. I assume they're going to get more because yesterday, or sorry, last week when they put them out, there were only one of each size. There were only three. And then they have this cute little t-shirt set here. And it's just all of the different houses. It's a cute little graphic tee for kids. And it says Hogwarts. And then it um, has like a cute little, they're two, it's a two t-shirt set um, for $17.99, so $18. And the second t-shirt is um, a print, you know, it's got a pattern here of all the different house um, patches, all the different coat of arms for all the different Hogwarts houses. That's really cute. So you know if you've got kids that are big fans. So here's this pullover sweater I was talking about. This one's really nice. So it's got the um, Hogwarts um, font there with, um, you know, all the houses represented on the front, printed on the front. And then it's got these nice, like, off-white stripes down the sides of the sleeves. So that's really cute. It's like a little kid's pullover sweatshirt. And then this one, oh, I knew this was going to be the popular one. So when this came in Thursday, it was fully stocked. And now there's just a few left. And hopefully they'll get more because this t-shirt for Harry Potter fans out there is so cool. It's got like kind of a black acid wash texture to it. And, um, and then it's got the Harry Potter just like, Hey, Nikki, isn't this super cute? And Nikki probably saw the short. Thank you for watching all of the super calculistic videos. I love your support for the channel. Thank you so much. Um, so when Thursday of last week, I was just saying this was totally full. So this is definitely the hot item because it is just, it's an amazing t-shirt. If you're a Harry Potter, if you have kids that are a Harry Potter fan and then Nikki, you and I, I wonder if they have like a kid's large, you could totally pull it off. My mom says, hi, Nikki. Okay, and then here we have the Hogwarts yeah, slippers. Mommy. So if you're looking for like a Christmas present for a little kid that maybe loves. Uh, she says, hi, Susan, with a bunch of hearts. I have to just say a little something. Hi, ladies, um, because they're both here. So my mom's mom passed away this past weekend, so we're just going to send a little love out there to the whole family. Nikki knows because, um, you know, we're family. And um, yeah, just sending love out there to Nana wherever she is. And maybe she's here with us now. And um, I know she was really ready. She was nine in her 90s, you guys. I think this year she was going to be 94, mom. Is that right? So um, it's really sad to see her go. And But we um, just send her so much love wherever she is now smiling at us from her vantage point wherever she may be so um yeah harding harding lots of hearts sending out to everybody here in the vlog and also to the whole family when you both popped in i couldn't not say something because she's really on my mind obviously this week and as are you guys in the whole family okay so here we have another hogwarts printed tea and um, I love this color. It's very neutral, very fashion forward for those of you um, that get really involved in your kids' fashion. You like those neutral mon monochromatic, um, you know, outfit ensembles. And then here we have a little pullover sweatshirt and um, it's got just different printed graphics um, from like the HP for Harry Potter to the different houses to a dragon to uh, Harry Potter's glasses. So just kind of like a fun um, Harry Potter themed pattern. Oh, mom, I see your hearts. Fill in the love. And then I think that's kind of the end of it. So part of this line is are these, um, these pants. And I think they do have the reinforced knee for those 
actually these are not the reinforced knees but they these are nice classic back to school colors for anyone still searching for uniforms for their kids and then um they've got this really neat denim like kind of a black faded um acid wash denim that i think is also a part of this line and um these are the reinforced knees so these pants here i believe yeah Am I right? I don't know if I'm right, but these come in two packs. Thanks for the hearts, Nikki. I am not as skilled as you are. I can't find the hearts, laugh out loud. We're feeling the love though. Thanks mom. And then, so these come in a pack. So it's two pants for $25 and you get your olive green and black, which are nice colors if you're not doing uniforms like some of us. Ooh, these are popular. So these are like, um, they come in at the bottom with the cuff. They've actually got like a kind of a, um, like a jogger cuff at the bottom and at the top with a drawstring, but they're denim. So those are really cute and fashion forward. So those are styling. There's only three of those left. So those went fast. Moms know what they want. So here's my reinforced knees in navy. So these would be great if you are looking for really durable um, uniform clothes, like how I am all the time. And they also have this white button down here. And now I think we're into the H&M, you know, classics here with the, the kids, the boys shirts here, tailored shirts. So, um, well not tailored, but you know what? I, oh, here's more of these, uh, denim, denim pants. Sorry, excuse me. I burped. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I feel like you can, so I'm sorry. Okay. Lots of selection to choose from like that. Yeah, mom, isn't it amazing how much is out here for kids? Like, look at this cardigan. Or no, it's not a cardigan. It's a cute little sweater with a pocket. But still, loving, like, the kids, I'm so jealous of the kids. And it's so funny because then Raleigh comes in and she's so jealous of, um, of my section. Now, I'm a little confused because out on the floor, I mean, you ladies, I don't think you were here yet, but on the display there was more big kid Harry Potter stuff. So I'm just gonna look for that for a minute. Um, here's a Marvel jacket that's really cool for any of my Marvel people out there. It's kind of like a windbreaker with a hoodie. It's got all of the uh, Marvel, you know, uh, Captain America, Spider-Man, Hulk, uh, Iron Man. And then it's got, like it says Marvel across the back. There's only two of those. So those were quite popular. They've also got a Marvel t-shirt set here, just the Marvel logo on white, and then a, char a printed character tee there. So if you're going, if you're hitting DCA and you're looking for affordable Marvel gear, uh, it looks like they have some more stuff over here with the, these almost look like pajama tops, but you could use them as either pajama tops or t-shirts. Yeah, Henry, my nephew does love Oliver and Henry. Oliver is a big um, Iron Man fa fan and Henry is a big Spider-Man fan. That's cool. It's a hologram and Spider-Man is in the eyes when you move. That's really cool. There's even a Ninjago little t-shirt here for the Ninjago fans. So cute. Um, so there's not many of those. So those are popular. So you can kind of you know, hit up, I know for Christmas, you can hit up your H&M store and just kind of see what's in, you know, if you know there's a little kid out there that loves these characters. Um, they also have a little bit of minions here. And I'm thinking, Nikki and I, this would be so cute for winter at Universal Studios. I don't know if we'll make it there because of course going to all the theme parks does cost something. Um, but if you're looking for Universal Studios gear, that is really cute little Minions. Um, let's see. Oh, and this is a tie-dye Minions t-shirt. Auto. That's really cute. I don't know if there's more. Looks like this is a whole little Minions mellow section. How cute is that? Let's see if there's any other styles. Nope, that's it. Okay, so Nikki says cute. Um, okay. Ooh, these are cute. These are kind of like unisex joggers with these neat little lines across the knee and these metal zippers that is so cute and clearly the gray are really popular okay so i'm curious where the other oh here look you guys i found the harry potter 
Lots of minions. Yeah, I found the Harry Potter for the big kids. I'm excited about this. So this section I haven't explored yet and also right out in here in front. So this is the big kids. Sorry, you guys are getting a little bit of an echo, but looks like they have some Mandalorian gear here. And um, this looks like it's also Star Wars themed. If I'm, I'm just guessing, but it, no, no, it's PlayStation. Okay, sorry, that was me guessing. That's PlayStation, that is cool. So I'm guessing this is maybe also that, I don't know. Dream big, the world is yours hoodie. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of like a rubber patch there. That's cool. It almost reminds me of um, Epcot with the globe there, like kind of like Spaceship Earth kind of feeling. Okay, so, oh, they have a PlayStation hat with a gold PlayStation emblem on the front too for PlayStation fans out there. Yeah, they have a lot. This is such an amazing store, you guys. This is cute. Look at it. They've got the, they've got a, a cute little uh, button-down white t shirt with a polka dot bow tie that it comes with. That's cute if you're like dressing up a young man for a wedding and this neat um, kind of tweed navy jacket. It's hard to see the colors uh, because of the fluorescent lights, so it's not true to color. Monorails are coming back in October. That's so exciting, Lori Jean. I did see Fresh Baked um, posted a video, I think was it yesterday, and I haven't watched it yet. Something about just monorail rumors, updates. It's very, very exciting. Um, I would go to downtown Disney just to see the monorail, you know, go through the Esplanade. I would do that. In fact, I probably will. I do plan on going to uh, downtown Disney um, sometime in early September. So I'm really excited about that. I'm excited to see all of the Halloween decorations and share them with you guys and hopefully see the monorail. That would be amazing. Although it sounds like it's coming back in October is what Lori Jean said. Thank you for popping in. Thank you for the update. And um, yeah, so we'll just have to go back in October. So here we have the second Harry Potter section, the Wizarding World of Harry Potter, complete with Hedwig the Owl carrying Harry Potter's mail and um, his invitation to Hogwarts. And so you see there is, a, so they're in different sections, which I didn't know. There's this little kid section over there, which we just finished looking at. And again, you guys, I will, not October, Nikki might know something. Oh, the rumors are flying. If anyone's interested, stick around. Maybe Nikki will share with us if they're coming sooner, she says soon. Okay, well, that is very exciting. And if we get really lucky, maybe we'll be there. That would be amazing to be there live when the monorail comes through. I know there's lots of exciting Disney updates. I know some of you did subscribe for Disney content. So just know I'm aware of that. And I am definitely scheduling theme park content. I've got you. Um, I know you're out there. I know I don't maybe post every single day theme park content, but um, it is in the... Uh, it is in the pipeline. So just know that I haven't forgot about all the people that joined me this summer. We went to Walt Disney World. Um, I actually posted one of our Walt Disney World uh, videos of uh, Tom Sawyer's I Island last week. I'll link it in the playback of this video. And um, I haven't forgotten you guys. I'm definitely going to be doing lots of fun California attractions and theme parks um, leading into the new year. So uh, hopefully, Nikki, maybe we can try to get those uh, video for everybody in Super Cali land of the monorail because that is very highly anticipated and exciting. Uh, my mom says, saw it, love it, lots of special fun memories while watching. Thank you, mom. Yeah, I had a lot of fun uh, posting. It was kind of like a later post of Tom Sawyer's Island and going on Thunder Mountain for the first time in a couple years for us. So if you guys want to check that out again, I will link it in the playback. Um, so just so you know, as far as the timestamps and the links, um, I have to wait for the video to process. So they usually are live like a day after the live, if you're interested in coming back and looking for those. Okay, so enough um, chit chat about all that stuff. And I want to explore this Harry Potter section with you guys for anyone here for that. Um, there's also a Garfield shirt here so bonus that they even have garfield character t there's only a few and honestly if they had it in a smaller size i would definitely buy it for my son declan because he has been reading 
so much Garfield. Jesse found a bunch of his old Garfield comic books from when he was a kid and Declan has just been devouring them at night. He loves them so much. So that's kind of cool that they have a Garfield tee at H&M. So this is just a classic white and green striped tee. So a lot of this stuff is pretty, um, just kind of your basics. You've got some cargo pants, You've got like a really neat denim um, jacket here. I don't know if you can see it because I'm so close. This is as far as my arm will reach. But um, that's a really nice, just classic denim. I love all the denim jackets I'm seeing um, right now. And then you've got your classic navy hoodie. So a lot of basics over here in this section. Um, here's uh, just like a really neat pair of sweats. This I think this has to do with the whole the world is yours line. Um, what we saw with the um, that kind of royal blue hoodie we just passed by. This one is like a neat splatter paint white hoodie with black splatter paint and it says New York. So for all you NYC lovers out there, that's pretty cool. And then of course, hey Zach, how's it going? It's going really good. We're at H&M shopping and we're having so much fun. There's a ton of like character printed tees. You just missed, a, well, I'll just show you because I'm so excited about it. Um, you just missed this Garfield tee. I didn't expect to find this. I was here for the Harry Potter, but that's pretty cool. I live for weekends. I think we're all feeling that now that the kids are back in school. So here is the um, the big kids basically section I'm in, the Harry Potter uh, silk screen and the Sorcerer's Stone, just like basic tea. Let the magic begin. This goes for $15, right? I know they've got some cool stuff. Look at this pullover sweatshirt this i'm loving it says hp uh, in the lightning font harry potter and it's got uh, a snitch flying around it that's what that's called right <laughs> and it's 25 dollars. yeah harry potter is so cool and of course um, nikki and i i think we first got bit by the harry potter bug when we went to the taste of universal and we did that live i don't know i think zach you might remember it we did a live walkthrough of Hogwarts. Actually, it's called Hogsmeade for the first time, and it is just spectacular. I've been back with the kids since to do the wand experience. Here they have a Hogwarts printed tee. This is really cool. It's like a Heather Gray. It's a nice lightweight tee. And in the lettering here are the different colors representing the different um, houses. And then the, the coat of arms representing all the different houses. So that's really cool. And then there's more. So this is the hoodie. If you guys, I don't know that any of you are here for the very fun fact. You're a Harry Potter fan. Yay. I'm so excited. Um, if you want to watch the back, they did have some cute, I showed the window display in the very beginning. And again, there will be timestamps about 24 hours from now. And they also um, have a cute little kids section too. So. Um, thanks so much for popping in and sharing with us that you're a Harry Potter fan. Hopefully I'll have, uh, my mom's like motivated to uh, visit Universal Studios again. I know it's dangerous. So here's the Hogwarts um, pullover hoodie that I was talking about at the very beginning of the video. I love this hoodie. It's so high quality. Um, the hoodie itself is lined. It feels like cotton. It's nice and good weight and really soft. It's got this neat um, string detail here but unlike a lot of hoodies where the strings kind of dangle in front and are always kind of in the way coming in and out they're sewn to the fabric so it's just like a really neat embellishment without um the hassle of always worrying about your tassels and then um this here is beautiful if you see the piping along the inside of the hoodie it says harry potter with a black ribbon and gold letter detailing i mean that is just beautiful you guys this is really neat and then here along the sides this is like a ribbon liner down the sides this is like really beautiful embellishment also it says hogwarts and it's just like a really heavy neat ribbon down the side it's just beautiful and then this one goes for 30 dollars, which is such a great price for how much detail there is um the hogwarts lettering and this emblem are patches that are sewn on. So it's like, this is so collegiate and so high quality. This would be a beautiful Christmas present 
for any Harry Potter fan. And there's still a few here and hopefully they'll get more. This line just got put out on the floor last week. So uh, hopefully your local H&M has some of this stuff if you're interested. Now this is the big kids section. It's not the adult section. I would love to see some Harry Potter um, merchandise for adults. I, hopefully if there's some kind of, like if they see the demand, it would be really cool if they consider that maybe for next year. So here they also have Sonic, you guys. We love Sonic the Hedgehog. Actually, I'm sad to say Declan is kind of outgrowing Sonic, but Raleigh and I still love him. And of course, Jesse is a lifelong fan. Um, us having grown up with Sonic Hedgehog in the 90s, he is really popular in our household. And it's fun that they have this big kid's Sonic tee. He's skateboarding. How cute is that? Like kind of a retro skateboard. What else do they have here? This is just like your fashion forward, just pull over with a pocket. Amazing since Fuevas. I love all the detailing on their clothes, all the inspirational quotes. Oh, here's a cool NASA windbreaker. I like that. That's cool. It looks like it also has a hood. Um, and I wonder if the hood can, yep, it can, it's classic. It can fold up into the collar. I don't know if you guys remember like the Adidas, I still have an Adidas windbreaker I got in London that's similar to this. So that's really fun. Exploring, explorers wanted, that is cool. I like that. Here's more Sonic. My mom's like, there's so much stuff for Christmas. I know, but it's, it's only August. And I'm sure most of this, this is really cool because it's very, um, I love the graphic with the, you know, the kind of rainbow um, porcupine quill, uh, quills um, making that neat kind of 80s Japanese. Is that look like, it almost looks, is that, is that Sonic in Japanese? I'm not sure you guys what characters those are, but it's really cool. I'm liking that tea. What else do we have here? Oh, here's a NASA hoodie. How you been doing, my friend? Zach says, I'm doing pretty good. Um, when my cousin Nikki and my mom popped in at the same time, I did share that my Nana passed away, my mom's mom. Um, so, you know, that's sad, but it's also, she was almost 94. I hope I'm saying that right, mom. And I think she really felt ready. Um, it's hard at the end when your health is failing, but it's still, um, you know, something that's on my mind and I'm thinking of her and I hope she's really in a place of love and a good place. So, um, you know, that is happening right now, um, but I'm feeling pretty good. Thank you. It's, it's Zach so sweet. He says, oh no, sorry to hear that. Um, my mom says in March, she would have been 94. Okay. Yeah. So almost 94 and um, thanks mom. And yeah, I mean, I think um, we all knew, you know, that she, you know, her health was failing and that she was felt feeling ready, but it's still a passing of an era and a special time for the family. Um, you know, the last of my grandparents, so, and my mom's mom. So, you know, um, but we're doing pretty good. Thank you for asking how I'm doing, Zach. I really appreciate it. Um, here we have Space Jam hoodie, if anyone, has kids really into that. It also says Space Jam down the side of the sleeve. So uh, there's so much to explore. Zach says, well, if this helps, she'll watch you from above and your family for sure. Thank you so much, much, Zach. I really do believe that our ancestors are with us. I'm a firm believer in that um, for sure, supporting us and everything we do. So thank you, and I really appreciate the condolences and just the well wishes and the reminder, absolutely. Um, uh, just because you pass to the other side doesn't mean you're not still very much present in our lives and caring and watching. So I think that's an important reminder to anyone maybe going through loss that just happens to stumble upon this video. So um, thank you, Zach. And look what we found. <laughs> Nana's like, over here, there's baby Hogwarts. Oh my goodness, look at this, you guys. Oh goodness, the ovaries are thumping. Look at this, it's like, sorry if that was too graphic for anyone popping in, but oh my goodness. A little Hedwig, the owl, um, sock, 
and a Hogwarts sock and burgundy and wizard in training. For all the Harry Potter fans out there who are also parents, this is incredible. They've got these neat little bibs. I love the um, bibs that look like bandanas. Um, I used these a lot when Declan was teething when he was about two because he was just drooling like crazy. And bibs are kind of, you know, you don't want to leave a bib on a kid because they just look kind of babyish. But um, these little um, bandana style bibs are perfect for that sort of thing. So they have the Hogwarts and they have this one that says Hogwarts School with a picture of Hogwarts and the printed graphics. And then they, I did see this from the distance. And then when I looked, I was like, oh my goodness, there's more Harry Potter. And look at that, you guys, there's more Harry Potter. Let's see if I, across there. Oh, I thought I was about to wrap it up, but we're going to have to look at everything Harry Potter. And let's, sorry if I'm missing comments. No, okay, I think I'm caught up. So here is a Hedwig fuzzy, um, like teddy bear material, uh, little girls or, or boys, a Hedwig white set, um, owl set with the owl print pants. And here's another Hedwig, the owl complete with pretty eyelashes. And you can't tell, but this is kind of just like a pink. It looks a little um, more like a taupe in the playback from what I can see right now. I don't know what's on your screen, but it is like a neat, um, kind of blush pink color. So it's very pretty. They've got the onesies here. Wizard in training. I don't know if you guys can see that. That is cool. And then a Hogwarts school um, hoodie and jogger set. Oh, stop it. That is so cute. And that's $25. That is cute. Oh, mom, what babies do we know? Oh, and here's some Mickey, baby Mickey stuff. Okay, I have to stop at this really quick and then we'll look at the rest of the Hogwarts gear for kids. Look at these cute, you know, I have gotten a lot of great uh, Mickey and Minnie H&M uh, clothing for my kids over the years. And it's much more affordable than if you're going to say downtown Disney to World of Disney. It's so cute and you know you need this gear for one here. You don't need, but you know what I'm saying, when you're going and you're taking your kids to the parks. So if you're looking for affordable, um, Sarah's daughter, yes, for sure. I'm trying to think if she is a Harry Potter fan. I think she really is more of a Disney fan. She grew up going to Disneyland too. So we'll have to, we'll have to consider. Now these look like little boy, a little more masculine with the greens, um, this kind of light, Oh, it's kind of like a dark taupe, like khaki color. And um, this fleece is cute with Mickey. That could be gender neutral. And then the blue tank top, which is Mickey tank top, which is so cute. And the printed, oh look, it's like the animator collection where you can see the drawings. That is so cute. Little tank tops. I love my son in tank tops, but for some reason he, he's not into them anymore. And then, um, oh, look at these little cutoff shorts with Mickey printed on these denim shorts. Ooh, that could be cute on a little girl. Yes, mom, good call, Sarah's daughter. I'm sure they would have mini gear. Okay, well, if I stumble upon any mini gear, I'll let you guys know. Let's head back over here because I'm seeing another Harry Potter section. Oh, and this is the young ladies, of course. So uh, Nikki, I hope you're still here because I found your daughter's section. She has three girls and her oldest is definitely a Harry Potter fan. And they have some really lovely stuff for the ladies. I'm pretty excited about the section right now because I'm pretty sure I could fit into this stuff if I go for like a large or extra large. So this is an oversized hoodie. It's straight at the bottom with um, vents which is a really fun style. And then it's got these gold collegiate stripes on the sleeves and this emblem, this Hogwarts teehee, my mom says, this Hogwarts gold printed uh, coat of arms is just gorgeous. So that is a really, oh, and it comes with pants. Oh, it's a whole set. Look at this, they've got, um, sorry, the leggings. It looks like black leggings on the bottom. And they've got that cute little flare that's popular. It's kind of like the cropped, you know, they, they kind of hit your ankle a little above the shoe and they flare at the bottom. That's a thing this winter. So prepare yourself if you're 
if you're not ready to do that yet, get ready. This is a really pretty um, soft pink and burgundy flannel shirt. It's part of the line. It's a basic, so you could like layer, you know, a Hogwarts t-shirt with maybe not the yellow one, but you know, Hogwarts, maybe the sweater under over this. Um, they've got these separate. So some are nice and basic to complement the printed part of the line. 60s, early 70s flare. That's right, mom. That's right. So we've got um, a, de a, a like a pleather a biker jacket. That's pretty cool. I'm loving that. And then they've got this neat, cute little black faded denim mini skirt. They're really cute. And then it looks like they've already sold most of the t-shirts. They went really fast because again, this line is really new. So to, I'm curious to see, I'll have to update you guys if they get more. So here, this is in the window display in the front. Um, they layered it with, I think an oversized, um, I don't see it, an oversized flannel jacket. I'm seeing it on display, but I don't, it must've already sold out because it was so popular. So the t-shirt's $13 and it's got the characters printed on the front. It says Harry Potter. It's a nice neutral, um, just kind of tan color. And then they've got this yellow tee with a gold um, coat of arms printed on the front. And it's also $13, kind of an oversized tee. It does have a little patch on the bottom that says Harry Potter, it's just HP. That's really pretty. Okay, love it, kind of authenticated. This is interesting. I think they just paired this with this line, this like um, fuzzy cropped uh, pullover sweatshirt. And um, it's got like a dew-toned, am I just making that up? Like two different, dual tone, dew tone. I don't know what I'm saying. The block colors here and just neutral, and like, you know, taupe and like an off white. And then these are fun, these joggers. You could sleep in them or wear them out. And they've got the Harry Potter um, crisscross pattern here with the Hogwarts coat of arms and uh, a motif for each of the houses. How much are these? I'm curious. These are $20. And they've also got the neat uh, HP for Harry Potter patch sewn on. So it's a really nice high quality line. I'm really excited about it. This is a cropped sweater. It's really pretty. I love the collegiate stripes and I love that it has this patch on the shoulder here, the Hogwarts patch. So that's an actual patch, that's not a print. So similar to the boys hoodie that we saw that was quite high quality. This is um, the female sweater, pullover sweater, really pretty. And then what do we have here? This they just paired, it's like a black and yellow um, plaid button down shirt and then they also have a burgundy and black and white plaid button down shirt that they're pairing with this line i'm curious if it's yeah no and then black um it looks like high-waisted boyfriend um jeans here with the torn knees that's really cool that's cute excuse me okay so I think I found all of the Harry Potter gear, you guys. Um, I don't know if you're as excited as I am, but I'm glad I found out Zach's a fan of Harry Potter, so that's exciting. I'm glad he shared that. And here is the um, plaid jacket I was talking about that's in the front display. And I wonder if it's just gone. Here is a green, this is a mint green one, which is also really pretty. But I'm wondering if because it's on display, people saw it and it's just it's just gone. But the, I really like the mint. That's really pretty. And it's got a nice weight. It's really nice flannel jacket with the two pockets on the front. We're um, thinking about going to the beach this weekend with friends and that would be so perfect at night when it gets really cool at the beach. It's hard to imagine it being cool when you're out in the desert, but um, along the coast of California, it really is very cool at night. It really cools down. Sometimes even during the day, if the sun doesn't come out, these are cute. I'm just hanging out in the girls section. There's some cute stuff, you guys. Okay. I like that. 
about the cheetah print on the Rolling Stones. Oh, here we go. Here it is. It's not sold out. I found it. So this is the blush, um, oversized. Yeah, my mom's into it. She's like, yes, there it is. Oversized flannel jacket. All right, you guys, let's see. We'll walk out. Oh, I found Minnie right on cue. All right, so we found the... Oh, my goodness. Look at this. And I think this is new because I did not see this when I was here um, about a month ago with Raleigh. So look at this. Minnie being coy behind her giant gold bow. And then you've got this uh, fun leopard print on tan. That is a cute sweater. And then they've got these shoes in. I wonder if they have Raleigh's size. I really need her. I need a pair of sneakers for her so bad, but I'm having a really hard time finding sneakers she'll wear, you guys. It's been just a saga, my mom knows. So here's Minnie Mouse. I, again, very cute and coy. Oh, and look at this from Pinocchio, right? Um, oh gosh, I'm blanking. Is Nikki here still? I'm blanking. Figaro. No, that's the, that's the fish. Chloe. Chloe? Cleo. Cleo the cat, right? How cute. There's a middle T and I can't get to it because I only, oh, it's, oh, look, it's Daisy. It's Daisy Duck also being really coy and cute. And they're pairing it with some stretch black faded denim leggings. And look at this dress. Oh my goodness, with the rainbow chiffon. <gasps> I wonder if they have a matching mom's dress. That is tempting. And then a cute, like, chiffon pleated black skirt. Oh my goodness, if they had that in navy, I'd definitely get it for Raleigh's uniform. That is so cute. All right, I think that's it for Minnie. I don't know if maybe they had more and it sold out because I don't see baby Minnie stuff. I was hoping to see if we could find some mom for Sarah's baby. Sarah is one of my very good friends, if you guys are wondering. So then here is Disney Friends, a cute, well, this kind of reminds me of my childhood. This is the kind of Disney gear I had, like really colorful and lightweight and print, print um, with the silk screen. Disney Friends, cute. It, and this comes in a two pack and it's $18 for the two sundresses. Oh goodness, there's so much cute stuff. They've got you. They've got, oh, this is um, Fashion Forward Horses and Team Unicorn. Oh my goodness. Stop it. Oh, loving all the unicorn power. Okay, so I'm not seeing any more baby mini stuff. I, my mom's like, yes, I see it. Yeah, she's remembering all the stuff I used to have too when we would go to Disneyland. All right, you guys, let's make our way out. If we see a little something along the way, I'll stop and oogle it. This is a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate your support. These are cute flower printed bike shorts. They've got like a sheen. Oh mom, 90s, everything is so 90s. I'm loving it so much. So if you guys wanna see this um, sex education collaboration that H&M is doing, I did go through this whole section in the beginning of the video. And I will put timestamps in the playback. So if you want to check that out, um, definitely uh, come back like a day from now and, and you can just go right to that section. Thanks, mom. She's like, thumbs up. You guys, thank you so much for watching this and shopping with me and chatting with me. Um, thank you to everyone that popped in, Zach, Nikki, my mom. Um, um, Angel at the beginning with all the support for the channel. Um, if I missed you, I'm sorry. I'm just going off memory here. This was so much, oh, it's gonna get really loud. This was so much fun. Here, I'll stand next to this mint section. It's so beautiful right now. Look at this. That's a gorgeous uh, mint color, my goodness. Anyways, I'm actually rocking this old, this is from the 90s. This is a spree. And um, it's actually, uh, I'm so excited about this shirt because when I bought it, it was also in the poster for the movie Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which predated the TV show. And I was just so proud to have picked a clothing item that someone picked for the poster of that really fun movie. And yes, I match. Anyway, so I wanted to get a little more fashion forward for you guys today for H&M. 
and I had so much fun. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, recently they also had the black pink line that I um, did a little short of that. So if I come in here and see any more like fun Netflix collaborations or like Disney, um, Disney collaborations, I will let you guys know for sure. Uh, so let me know if you want to see more of that. And thank you, mom. Raleigh picked this out for me here at H&M. So I thought I should wear it today, my little bucket hat. So thanks again, you guys. If you haven't already, um, definitely subscribe for more of these Tuesday lives. And also every Thursday, I do a live premiere um, of an edited video, whether it's a California adventure or a theme park experience. Or like this week, I'm doing a gluten-free uh, grocery haul, which I need to go shoot now. So wish me luck. And I'll see you guys on Thursday. That should be at 10.15. If, it, if the premiere is ever running late, I let you guys know on my community page. Sometimes editing, you know, there's snafus. And I do my best um, to try to get it out by 10.15. My mom says, love it. So that will be my goal. <laughs> Hopefully I make my goal. And thanks again, you guys. I'll see you soon in Super Cali land. Bye.